welcome back once again. It is me, Mold. So happy to be here with you guys today. We are doing another Town Hall 8 base build. Now, I did have a Southern teaser that was working really, really well for me. Um, but, I don't know. I wanted to make another base. <laughs> That's one of the things that I find the most joy in is in Clash of Clans is designing bases and seeing how they work and how functional they are and whatnot. Um, I've been doing it since I started this channel. I honestly probably have close to 50 or 60 base builds on my channel. So if any of you guys are looking for Town Hall 7, Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, I've got it all. I've literally got all of them. But a lot of them aren't. Uh, all the Town Hall 9 ones are before there were four mortars. So you can look at them and try and tweak them a little bit if you want to. But yeah. So, today we're jumping in this, guys. Again, it is another trophy base because we are trying to protect our town hall. I've got it pulled up right here on Clash of Clans Builder, uh, dot com. If you guys want to check that out, it is amazing. It makes it so much easier to design your base. It makes it so much easier to design your base. Uh, it's ridiculous. So, check that out. Clash of Clans Builder dot com, guys. And we're going to go ahead and jump up into this. So, the way that this base is designed is uh it's laid out so that the troops go around the town hall and not to the town hall that's what you got to do when it comes to building things is kind of distract the troops so that uh the main dps ones like the wizards and the archers and things of that sort get taken out by the defenses before they get in range of the town hall and then the big boys like the golems and the uh giants uh are left running around taking out the defenses and uh not taking out the town hall for you so we're gonna go ahead and throw the town hall in the middle guys and then we're gonna bring in our clan castle right here and our dark elixir right here because i am still trying to max out my troops so i'm trying to protect my dark elixir as well uh next we're gonna go ahead and bring in our wizard towers right here right here and the last one is going to go right up there guys i want my wizard towers protecting my town hall as well as covering this whole pathway so any of the troops that come in so a lot of them are going to come in right here by these walls. They're going to walk all the way around. They're going to get wrecked by all these spring traps and these giant bombs. I've got some replays to show you guys already. So definitely looking forward to show you guys that. How effective these traps and these bombs are from keeping the uh, attacker from the town hall. That's the biggest thing. You're going to get one star. It's, it's pretty easy to get a 50% on a one star. Uh, especially if it's a town hall 8 and you're a town hall 9. And as I move up, I'm getting attacked by higher level bases. So my goal is to protect my town hall. Not to protect against the 50%. Because it's going to happen. It's, it's way too hard to protect against 50%. So, um, oh gosh. So as long as I have those areas protected um, and, and I'm patrolling and I'm making the uh, attackers patrol around the base, then I'm doing good. I'm perfectly fine with that. So we've got our wizard towers protecting those lanes as the troops work their way around there. And then we're going to go ahead and bring in a cannon right here. Uh, a cannon right here. And then where are my archer towers at? And an archer tower right here. Okay, so... Uh, do I have Archer Cannon, Archer Cannon all the way around? I think I do. No, I need to switch those. We'll figure it out. <laughs> so we're going to keep on throwing these things in here. Next, guys, we've got our mortars. Um, the, the mortars are, are super important. You can see they're close to the town hall right here. Uh, so they can get those DPS troops I was talking about, the archers and the barbarians and things of that sort, before they even get close to the town hall. So once they do get close to the town hall, the mortar's not going to be that effective. But it is going to stop them as they do get close. So anything coming through these areas right here is going to get wrecked by the wizards and the mortars. So you better be careful if you're coming at my base with a lot of DPS units that are weak because you're going to get taken out. I promise you. So now we're going to bring in our air defenses. Throw those in right there. And then we're going to put our last air defense right here which is protected by those air bombs and you can see that the air defenses are doing a great job of covering uh practically the whole base guys again here's a little layout of it if you guys want to look at it, it looks kind of like a spaceship um but we're just going to keep on working our way around so uh our mortars the rest of our mortars we're going to go ahead and throw uh one in right here and one in right here so anything messing with my walls or anything like that up towards the middle and look at this we've got double mortars covering this area so seriously Anything coming in here is going to have a hard time staying alive when it's getting hit by that much splash damage because I love splash damage. You guys know how much I love splash damage. It's so good. It, it just completely wrecks people whenever they try and um, whenever they try and send in their archers or their barbarians or anything like this. So we're just going to keep on throwing our buildings in here. I'm not really too worried about protecting my loot. I do want to protect my gold as much as possible, but it is a little challenging. Uh, since people have been attacking this base, they haven't really attacked from the top. So my goal is actually staying pretty safe up there. Uh, most people have been attacking from the bottom. We're going to go ahead and bring in this archer tower right here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and bring in a cannon 
right here and then we're going to throw our elixir storages right here and right there and people guys they're coming in here my skeleton trap is pulling them right in uh, to this giant bomb which is doing great I'm actually gonna put that on the other side so that uh, they run straight towards that bomb and just get absolutely uh, annihilated by it <clears throat> But we're just going to keep working our way around. You can see uh, anything that comes in here is going to get hit by the cannon, get hit by the wizard tower, get hit by that giant bomb, work its way over, get taken out by these spring traps. It's going to be epic. It, this base is working really, really well so far for me. I'm, I'm loving it a lot. So uh, we're going to bring in this gold storage, and then we're going to bring in our max king. I love having a level 10 king. He is he's a boss. He is a boss for sure. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and bring in this cannon up here, and we're going to try and protect our Dark Elixir uh, storages a little bit more than anything else. Uh, we do have a spring trap right there as well for anybody that tries to come up in there. And then we've got to put our last archer tower right over here, as well as another one of our Dark Elixir drills and our Dark Barracks. So you can see everything's pretty close. Everything's knit together. Um, the wizard towers are in great locations, as are the mortars, just completely protecting stuff. We do also have our Teslas to bring in. This Tesla is going to go right there. This Tesla is going to go right here. And this Tesla is going to go right here. As I always say, guys, you want to spring them before you ding them. I've never actually said that before. <laughs> you want to spring the troops off before you cause damage to them. Because if you spring them off when they're half health, it's a waste of the trap. It's a complete waste of the trap. So right here, we're going to crush them. They're going to die right here by um, all the damage that they're going to be taking. And then they're going to come up in here, they're going to get flung off, and then the ones that are still alive are going to get damaged. Again, over here, guys, they're going to get flung off, and then they're going to get damaged. So that's what you always want to do with your spring traps because, I don't know, it just makes it a lot better. <laughs> but we're just going to go ahead and throw the rest of our stuff around the base. Somebody is going to come and love this free elixir right here. Just going to go ahead and throw all of this around here. This is going to be a longer video for you guys, so I hope that you all enjoy that. Definitely make sure that you guys leave a like for the longer videos um, for you guys. A lot of times base build videos can be a lot longer, just especially once I do have replays to show you guys, because a lot of times I just get so excited about the base that I show y'all, uh, I show it to y'all before it's even done. Um, I now I remember why that wasn't there. So we actually have a builder's hut up here and a builder's hut right here. And we actually have a builder's hut right here. Come on. And a builder's hut right here. I have tweaked a couple things with this base, guys, since uh, I've started using it. So you guys will notice that in the replays that I do show y'all. Um, we'll go ahead and throw this right here as well and bring in this other trap. And then we're just going to go boom and boom, boom and boom. And let's go ahead and bring some of our other buildings just out and around here. No, that tree's in the way. Go ahead and throw this right here and throw our research laboratory right there and then we're going to fill the rest of this area in right here uh and then you know let's go ahead and just throw another elixir pump right there and that's going to be it so we're going to save that guys okay looking good now we're going to go ahead and i'm going to show you guys these uh defenses so all of them are one stars but like i was saying i'm perfectly fine with that two of them are 51 percent so i'm going to show those to you guys and y'all are going to see how well these are working so you can see i switched up what's going on with the cannon down here i actually moved the walls in front of it uh, after watching this replay so this guy's coming in with some bam and uh, he actually went towards the top of the base which is surprising but um you can see he's got a huge crowd coming in here watch this here they come oh hello giant bomb get out of here I wish that, that bomb would like shoot shrapnel into the air and take out the minions as well but you can see he's got level six troops guys which is uh pretty good that's pretty good to be uh, attacking a town all eight so he's coming in hot right now for some reason my wizard was being dumb and shooting across two walls instead of at the troops that were hitting it but 47 percent they are coming in towards the top of the base the wizard tower is doing a great job uh, he does get close to the town hall gets a couple ticks on it right there but the mortars are still working away as is that tesla what is my king is my king my king was on the other side of the wall looking at those archers and didn't do anything Come on, buddy. So, homeboy gets 51% right there, guys. Not too bad. I'm okay with that. I am definitely okay with that. Let's watch this other one. He's got so many archers. He's got 142 archers and uh, 74 barbarians again, guys. And like I was saying, this is uh, level 6 troops attacking my town all 8. It's going to be a little hard to uh, defend against the 1 star. But, uh, I mean, it, 
I'm okay. I just sounded like a re I just sounded like such a noob, <laughs> stuttering like a madman. But you can see he's coming in here, um, and he's about to get wrecked by that giant bomb again. Boom! Say goodbye, and uh, there goes our skeleton trap, completely messing around with those guys. Homeboy is not attacking from the top of the base at all. Uh, you can see the wizard towers and the mortars, like I was saying, guys, just wrecking those little DPS troops as they come in here. There's another giant bomb, but the mortar actually took them out before they got in there. Uh, there goes the mortar again, the wizard tower, just absolutely crushing it. And since this, guys, I've switched it to have the wizard towers where those mortars are. So things are going to be a little bit different now. I am tweaking the base, so I showed you all the most recent version uh, that I just built a second ago. He's at 47% right here. Uh, he hasn't used his clan castle yet. Our wizard towers are going to take out those archers right there. And here comes his clan castle, his saving grace. If he didn't have his clan castle, he would not have gotten it. There's that 50% on that uh elixir storage and then he's heading in but the town hall has stayed unscathed the entire time guys so if you want to try this out just take a look at the base uh screenshot it whatever you want to do try it out again i'm perfectly fine with one stars and with this guy taking my elixir because i don't need it but that's gonna be it for this episode guys here's a longer one so make sure you guys comment leave a like for me uh and uh yeah that's gonna be it thank you so much for watching guys i really do appreciate it and as always make sure you keep calm and you clash on for me right see you guys later peace